Okay, so this is a scale model. Of a 3D painter? Yes. <laughs> it's the it's going to go in the sandwich 200. Uh, we're probably going to call it version 2.5 or version 3, something like that. Probably version 2.5. The problem we have with the existing one is, come over here. There's our vertical rods and there is a you can see that clearly visibly I mean it's a it's just ridiculous uh, but what is happening is that these bearings these bearings are rotating um, in there they have about half a millimeter of play descent in that plane which means you get about one millimeter of play that way likewise at the other end and because that print head is not exactly in line with this it's actually down about here any travel in that results in the head moving that way likewise the head is not in here and you get tr travel around there it's not in there it's down there so you get travel on that as on this one as well the end result is a massive amount of thing it's a total design I mean there's no I couldn't have predicted that this would happen so anyway um <laughs> wah, wah, yeah yeah basically <laughs> fail um on, on that but um it's enough it's enough to be able to work but anyway that's it so that's a core x way design <laughs> that's a core x y and this is the <sighs> it's the same layout as the red yeah, minky something plotter from 1990s that uh, Rich Rap um, uh, brought to our attention in the Sly 3DR. Okay, so um, now the differences here are that um, with the X arrangement, which has a pulley system which gives you a 2 to 1 gearing ratio, I am using for both X and Y, and this is going to be belts not the capstan effect on wire, steel wire or anything. Oh, ah, uh, yes, uh, there we go, one kangaroo. <laughs> with, with baby kangaroos as well? Yep. Fantastic. Wow. Seven babies. Totally cool. Okay, so um, the X arrangement on, on this um, unnamed plotter comes from here. Turns here now. Bear in mind, this is only idler bearings where it's going to be on the back. I think, with one exception. So it comes around here, up there, turns round 180 on again an idler. Now that one will have to be teased. Down again there, up to there. Again, smooth bearing, motor, right angles to minimise um, any. Uh, um, um, Wizzing effect on on things, and that can get away with being a GT two sixteen. Up here, round that corner, down there, onto there, round there, and off and thing. And so you have fixed points. Now, what's real nice about this is that you can arrange um, fixed points with one fixed point at that end, and then a uh, tensioner, belt tensioner, similar to. Uh, Chris Palmer's uh, Mendel 91, you know, which has a D shape and a, a thing, so you get a gearing effect, a two to one pulley gearing effect on the tensioner, even, which is fantastic. Um, got a lot of respect and a lot of time for Chris's designs. The So that's one, but then I've duplicated that on the other one, but with a slightly different arrangement for the belt and oh, one extra bearing, one of which is. Um, um, uh, uh, outer, I think it's. Uh, well, oh, I think I'll, it'll, it'll have to be a tooth bearing. Um, but this is for position. This is also this can be a drop-in replacement into the um, into the existing Core X Y one. Because otherwise, what I would have to do is for the Y motor, that motor instead of being there would have to be there. Um, and in the original one, the motors are actually here. And I can't remember where the other ones, but they're basically they're drop them in the middle. If it doesn't matter, we can put it there. So for this one, it goes where are where are you? We've done the uh, did this one. Okay, we did the green thread already. So this is red thread. Okay, it goes up here, turns right angles here, 
that is fixed to the carriage like the other four. Turns 180 degrees, goes back along there, up, turns through 140, 135, turns through 90 there. Again, this is all smooth bearings at, up to this point. Then you have that one, that one will be a uh, toothed because it's on the opposite side, followed by not being a toothed one on the carriage, whoomph, whoomph, back down to there at the fixed point. Okay, so one of these again will be fixed and the other one will be a D-shape with a thing. Now, the reason why this bearing can get away be, be, being there is because this is the maximum travel of the this linear bearing on here. In fact, it's actually, we, uh, we don't need to have a 300 millimeter rod at all you can get away with oh, it's probably about 260 yeah so 260 260 and again uh, that is the maximum travel distance so that's uh, again a 260 260 um, probably less in less than that um, you know, lengths of the bearing plus carriage end so I think a 20, 25 millimeter uh, of everything, so probably be able to get away with about 240 250 millimeter rods. Um, I've got 300s, so those are what's going in. So they have one going across there to support this this jobby. Now um, I'm getting aluminium solid square section rods, but I will be getting carbon fiber ones instead, with the end result that the weight of this will be mm, uh, the inertia will be greatly reduced and will be similar to uh, that of or approaching that of a delta printer which is pretty awesome um, the significant weight on the carriage is actually going to be the number of bearings um, because on this here there will be one two three so in a mm, clamp arrangement like that one two three uh, two on top and one underneath and likewise on the other one I think that um, those will be uh, V rollers so um, you'll have uh, one two three V rollers there four five six V rollers on there then <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, two, twenty, three, twenty, four, twenty five bearings. <laughs> Fortunately, I have twenty five bearings, including four idlers. Um, uh, two idlers for is two idlers for here, and uh, one tooth idler there. Um, I'm just going to use a plain bearing for now on that one. Uh, oh, twenty no twenty five twenty four twenty three because two sorry counted the um, GT two sixteen as uh, as bearings. So twenty three bearings um, total uh, thing, which yeah, it's okay. Um, it's tolerable. Um, plus four four linear bearings. LM8 UUs one two three four sliding on the rods. I'm not going to use uh, uh, V rollers or anything like that for those. Um, the other thing which is particularly fascinating about this arrangement is that um, even if you get um, a small amount of travel um, rotation on here, it doesn't affect the position of the carriage. Yeah, I know. Um, so this can um, slightly uh, wobble back as it works and forwards because when the amount that is added to here gets subtracted from there in the rotation, but it doesn't affect, it doesn't significantly affect the um, the position of the carriage, and likewise for the other one as well. Um, uh, it will cause a tiny amount of uh, rotation, and the other belts will re help resist that. Um, rotation, but it should mean a uh, difference. Likewise, um, because of the clamping of the uh, one, two, three bearings, it's not going to rotate in the carriage. is not going to rotate in this direction, and the clamping from the other bearings is not going to rotate in this that direction. So there are. <laughs> what have we got here? Uh, oh. Seven babies. <laughs> Seven kangaroo babies. Totally cool. <laughs> so basically there are coming back to this there are a significant number of advantages to this using um, GT216 but this is a pulley effect 
I, I, don't, I don't know why people haven't noticed this in the original design. Um, it hasn't been noted on uh, Rich, uh, Rich's um, Sly 3DR uh, printer design. This is a pulley effect. It's a 2 to 1 gear ratio, automatically. Um, and with that as well, if you use GT2 16s, um, you get a 2.5 um, uh, to 1 um, gearing adva ra ratio advantage over using a GT2 20, um, which is a standard, seems to be the standard on Core XY printers. So, um, yeah, oh, you know, two and a half to one. I can't remember. <laughs> oh. He can't mm. remember. No. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, um, the reason for making this model is that I, it's a two to one scale, um, and I measured out 75 centimeters, 750 millimeters of cotton to go around here and it is just okay with the design that I've got um, that is uh, 312 millimeters on the original printer and that is uh, 0 to 17 175 175 times 2 <laughs> 38 39 390 I think <laughs> his name is Luke <laughs> seventeen fourteen. So seventeen times seventeen three forty. Oh, so three forty plus uh, ten uh, is three hundred and fifty. So three twelve by three fifty, uh, which for a two hundred by two hundred millimeter print bed is pretty small. Um, so yeah, utterly cool <laughs> and completely necessary. <laughs> I can't go with this printer or, 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 as it stands. Flex three drive, totally awesome. Recommended. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for this paper. Paper printer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much.